Hello guys and welcome back. So in this last video in this uh, session, that is session three or part three of the Angular training, we'll uh, finally discuss about the resolve guard. Okay, uh, now this is something uh, that can be used uh, in many situations. So it uh, it seems like uh, if there is a if say there is a requirement wherein you want to uh, fetch the data for a particular uh, route right before loading it then you can use resolves in that case okay so um, let's say uh, we use this as an example we have a users list over here like so okay right now the users list um, is inside the users component itself okay and uh, this is something that we are also using inside the user details so we basically have some duplicate data over here uh, let's just quickly refactor this code a bit so that uh, we are more clear okay so i'll do one thing i'll create an interface so ng g for generate i for interface interfaces i'll create a user interface like so okay and this will create an interfaces folder with an user.ts file and i'll export an interface named i user from here okay now this uh, interface will have data of this sort so it will have a number formatted id okay then it will have a name which is of type string and an email which is of type string again like so okay let's save this and now i can simply uh import it like i user from this particular path okay and this would be i user again Okay, let's save this and in the users component as well let's do the same thing so this would be i user which is imported from this particular path right here okay and uh, then we have this all right now we have some duplication of data here we have the users list over here and we have the users list inside these details as well okay uh, ideally it would have been a very good idea if we could just uh, have one place wherein we could have these users um, so that is what we are going to do we are going to create a service for that okay so let's create a user service uh, i do that by using uh, the ng generate uh, service command inside the services folder i create a service named user like so and since i want i will be using this service inside the app component okay uh, so basically it created a folder named user and inside that it created two files now since i will be using the user service inside uh, my app comp uh, my app module here so i'll do something like user service i'll register this as a provider or as a service in my app module i'll cut this from here and paste it right here save this okay now the intent here is that this has a private users which is of type i user array okay and the value of this is the one that we are seeing right here so i'll just cut this from here and uh paste it right here like so okay so i have this uh, array of users now i can define a method named get users which is of type i user array uh, sorry or it will return the data of type i user array and then i can do something like this dot users i can return it from here so if i save this now i can simply inject let's say the user service which is of type user service that should be imported from this particular path right here and now in here i can simply do some 
something like and then join in it i can simply in it this dot users to this dot user service dot get users call like so okay and that is something that i can do here as well so i'll just in inject the user service as a dependency sorry my bad this should be user service and not user component i don't really need the user component here okay so like so and in the ng on init again i can define a call or i can just simply call the user service dot get users and get the list of users in here okay so far so good now i can just see if my okay so my node application is running and i'm still seeing the list of users right here okay perfect now uh, let's say that i had a requirement wherein i wanted the list of users right before i reach the users route okay so that is something that can be done in case of uh, resolves okay so i'll create a resolve um guard okay i'll just quickly delete this okay i'm here now so i'll create a guard a user resolve okay so this would be the name of my guard now it would be generated inside guards user resolve users resolve and users resolve like so okay this will create two files inside a folder named user users hyphen resolve folder inside uh the guards folder like so okay now uh in this instead of uh implementing the can activate interface i'll implement the resolve interface like so and now this resolve is again of generate type and this uh, is of type i user that is the data this is expected to return okay and instead of can activate i'll need to implement the resolve method like so okay now this method will return an i user array oh, sorry so this would again be an array and not simply i user like so and uh, now in here let's first also inject the user service as a dependency so i can call the constructor here and i'll define a private user service like so this is of type user service okay and now user service is something that uh, since this is a guard we will be using it inside the app routing module i'll have to add the user service as something here as well so users or say user service okay so i'll just import it from this particular path right here i'll just cut this and paste it right over here okay all right so now in the user is all guard i can simply call this dot user service dot get users this will give me an i user array and that is something that i'll return i'm getting an error though here that it cannot find the i user name so that is something that we'll need to import like so and now it has access to i users I'll just cut them from here and paste them down below right here okay and uh, now to use this or uh, get this resolve data i'll first have to uh, use the resolve block on my users route so i'll do something like resolve and then i'll create an object here uh, this would specify inside this object a key that would specify the name of the key that i would be expecting and the name of the user 
resolve guard okay like so now this is also something that i'll have to import from oh sorry uh, from from its respective path like so okay and uh, in here i will also have to add it to the guard like so okay so now if uh, i wanted to use this inside the users component i can simply inject activated route okay i'll have to import it from uh, its respective path Sorry. i'll simply import it from angular router i'll cut this from here and paste it right here okay now instead of doing this i can simply do something like activated route dot data which uh, on which i can then call a for root for sorry for each method which will give me a use uh, which will give me some data and then i can do something like this dot users equal to data dot users like so okay then i i won't really be needing this call right here and if i don't really need that i won't be needing this uh, service either so i can just get rid of the user service like so if i save this now and check back i'm getting an error saying that cannot find a differ supporting subject uh, object true of type boolean ng4 only supports so okay so looks like there is an issue if i go back to the users and check back here let's see what i'm getting here so i'll just reload this okay this isn't really helping much i'll just have to okay mm -hmm. this isn't helping okay so i'll just uh, wrap it into multiple lines i'll just cut it from here and paste it like this i'll save this go back and i'll i'll get users as true that sounds strange let's see what the guard returns so inside the user resolve guard oh so it returns true that is something that wasn't expected um so in the guard if i go back to the user resolve guard uh, as a but it returns the get users right so that then that is an issue maybe the guard was not reloaded properly let's see okay now it got reloaded so now i should see the list of users properly here okay so uh in this way you can simply get or fetch some data uh, from the server as well just by using services but then uh, you can fetch the data for a particular uh, component that gets loaded on uh, on activation of a particular route right before that particular route is activated by using the resolve block like so so what we basically did is we basically just created a guard we implemented the resolve uh, interface over that uh, it should be of generic type which would eventually have the type of data which this particular uh, resolve method is going to return okay and then since we implemented the resolve interface we'll have to implement a method inside our um, guard class named resolve which would eventually return to us the the data in the form of an i user array and then we also used the user service to get that data by calling the get user method over here and then in the app routing module we simply specified the resolve um, 
property and assigned it an object that will have a user's field um, the value of which would eventually be returned to us by the user's resolve guard like so okay and we are getting the data in the form of the data property right here okay so the activated route right here will have a data property which can be iterated by using for each where we'll get the data and then this data will contain the users that we defined right uh, here like so this is the data and this is the users okay so the users that we get from here are the ones that we are getting from here and eventually they are the ones that we are getting from this resolve call and which is eventually calling the user service dot get users so we are getting the users here and then we are assigning those users to the users property of this particular class that is the users component and that's how we are able to see these users on the screen okay so that was it regarding uh, resolve and that brings us to the end of this part of the training uh, in the next part we will uh, have a look at the things like uh, custom decorators and uh, observables and services so i'll see you guys in the next videos bye